They stand together, the past and the present, watching as the water bubbled and churned, signaling the arrival of food. One grabs his harpoon, his quiet song lulls the seal to sleep on top of the ice beside the water that is its home. The other readies his rifle, his profile a stark contrast to the white, pure land surrounding him. His breath comes out in quiet pants, as he too sings the seal to sleep. They are one, the old hunter and his harpoon, the young man and his rifle, but the seal does not know that. The seal does not know that at this very moment, the moment of aiming, has happened before, will happen again. The old hunter and his harpoon are no longer there, but the man and his rifle is. Their reasons for pulling out a weapon are very much the same. Food, clothing, shelter, culture. The seal is all that, and more. That's delicious. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wee small hours to you lovely viewers. I hope you are well equipped, as I am, with a comforting beverage before we dive into some fun Canadian politics and policies. A topic of debate that has found its way out of a few northern countries and picked up steam in international media is the controversial practice of seal hunting. Seal hunting is practiced in northern countries such as Greenland and Norway, but the majority of it happens here in Canada. As I've been active for a lot of my life in environmental efforts, I find that people are frequently surprised when I tell them that I am, in fact, pro-seal hunt. A lot of the media coverage both in and outside of Canada is primarily focused on the people and organizations that are speaking out against the hunt. The biggest issue is misinformation perpetuated by organizations such as PETA and then parroted by celebrities from Paul McCartney to Ellen DeGeneres who have gotten involved in the politics while being ignorant of the realities of the hunt. Though I can understand personal qualms regarding the hunt and harvest of any animal, we at Les Amis de l'ABC are primarily concerned with the spread of accurate information. One thing I would like to change about the world, starting now, is putting an end to misinformation and spreading facts regarding the complexities of the Canadian seal hunt. I want to let you know that the controversy surrounding the seal hunt is as much a human rights issue as an animal rights one. So, some facts. There are six species of seals in Canadian waters. Harp seals make up the majority of the population and are the primarily hunted type. Seals are not endangered. There's a population of 7.3 million harp seals alone in and around Canadian waters. That's three times the number that there were in 1970, and the hooded seal population is also growing. The seal hunt is heavily regulated in Canada. Commercial hunters cannot hunt without a license, and acquiring one means going through the necessary training to quickly and humanely kill seals. If a seal hunter violates the legal terms of their license, or a person without a license hunts for seals, they will be punished by law by being fined and barred from their practice. In spite of the images almost exclusively used by organizations such as PETA, baby seals with white coats cannot be hunted. Hunting seal pups has been illegal in Canada since 1987. Regarding another common myth, seals are never skinned alive. Seals may sometimes show muscle activity, known as the swimming reflex, immediately after death, similar to the reflexes found in chickens, but this isn't indicative of any pain felt by the dead seal. Commercial and personal hunting licenses differ. Personal licenses permit up to six seals to be hunted for personal use. Regulations are different in the north past the Arctic Circle, as that region of the country relies heavily on the traditional seal hunt, which brings me to my final and most important point. The Inuit population of northern Canada has been hunting seals as part of their culture and survival for over 4,000 years, well before any European settlers arrived to eventually put restrictions on the traditional hunting practices. As seal hunting communities in the Northern Territory of Nunavut are so remote and resources sent up from the South are so expensive, it is completely unjust to deprive First Nations people of a major source of food, clothing, and shelter while charging them outrageous prices for necessary goods. The traditional practice has been part of Inuit culture for millennia, and it is not up to white settlers, governments, or celebrities to condemn it. What it comes down to is this. Anti-seal hunt groups are opposed to the hunt due to misinformation and ignorance regarding the hunting conditions and practices. They dehumanize seal hunters for the way in which they legally earn a living and continue to assimilate native populations to colonial opinions and morals. Though facts continue to disprove the premise of anti-seal hunt campaigns, there remains to some people nothing more inflammatory than the image of blood on the ice. Today's video contained only a few key facts regarding the Canadian seal hunt. I've listed my sources in the description where you can find out more. The poem of the day was called Seal Hunting by a young Inuit woman named Cassie Nakingak. I'm Jeanne Prouvel of Les Amis de l'ABC, and I thank you again for watching.